Detective Jokic. Doctor, we think that Harry Rush's partner's inside. His picture was on the 6 o'clock news. Somebody called in and said that they saw him coming in and out of the top floor loft. He's up there now? We're about to find out. We had an officer on the floor below said he heard voices and footsteps coming from the loft above. What if it's your killer? He's contagious. Everybody here is gloved. I'm gonna need you to wear a vest because he's armed. Okay. All right, let's move in. We're gonna need animal control in the Bronx Zoo. dealing with three very sick people all with an aggressive and contagious illness probably viral symptoms high fever myalgia headache nausea upper respiratory distress and conjunctival infection this thing hits everywhere at once any of them traveled to the tropics recently as in malaria or typhoid harry rush in the middle served in iraq but he tested negative wait a minute he's army was he went awol a couple of months ago so if he survives this he's gonna wind up in a brick or jail cops want him too it's a nice guy oh yeah the guy on the left, Thomas McDonald, stockbroker Wall Street type, he came in last, but he's furthest along. He presented with a macular papular rash this morning. If we're getting new patients, this disease is spreading. And so far, McDonald doesn't seem to have any discernible connection with the others. So the other two are linked? The guy on the right, Carlos Nieto, is paramedic. He brought in Rush, the army deserter. We think that Carlos contracted the disease from him. How'd they cross paths? Rush and his partner held up this jewelry store. His partner was wounded, and he murdered the owner, he escaped, and Rush was captured. Well, if Rush got the paramedic sick, then his partner... Is sick. Rush won't talk to the police, but he did tell Connor that he and his partner have the same symptoms. Right elevators down the left. No, they're just leaving now. Bronx Zoo Health Center. No, the vet will meet you there. It's already been labeled, right? Believe it or not, that was my first lion. Where's he going? Bronx Zoo for inspection. The lion may be the source of our disease. It might be carrying a vector-borne parasite. Oh, now you're just showing off. Animals can host parasites. They can transmit the disease. Obviously, this guy was not your shooter. Yeah. This guy was African-American, and our shooter's Caucasian, so the shooter's still out there. So who's this guy? DMV says he's Michael Banks. We ran a background on him. He runs an import-export company. He looks pretty respectable on paper. You run across a lot of respectable guys who keep wild animals and are friends with killers? 
Like I said, on paper. You recognize this man, Harry? What the? It's the late Michael Banks, or what's left to him. You want to know where the rest of him is? It's in the gut of his pet lion. Banks was high-end, so I'm figuring that he fenced whatever you and your partner stole. I'd never heard of him. Detective, I know Michael Banks. You knew this guy? I had lunch last week, week before. How well did you know him? Oh, not very. I just became his broker. All right, I'm going to need all the records that you have on him, OK? Detective, McDonald got the disease from Banks. Carlos got it from Rush. <coughs> Harry, how do you fit into this puzzle, huh? It's just you and your partner now. He's the one that pulled the trigger. He's the one that we want. I can get you a deal. What are you doing, man? Is he, is he your, your boyfriend or something? Screw you. Your buddy left you behind. Take the deal. He's an idiot, Yokus. He's obviously protecting someone. Harry, Banks' blood is sick, just like yours and your partner's. So the more we know about you, the better chance that we have of figuring out what this is and treating you. All right, Harry, have it your way. I'll just wait for your partner's body to show up. Are you saying this thing's going to kill me? Looks that way. Look, we don't know what this is yet. Good doc, bad cop, get your story straight. Am I going to die or not? Should have known. You're NIH? Yes. Have you made a diagnosis yet? I'm not a doctor. I uh, handle logistics. I'm Eva Rossi. Hi. My name is Holly Levine. I just came to check on Carlos. Boyfriend? Sometimes. <laughs> not used to being on the side of things. Yeah, that was a nice bedside manner. I'm not here to make them feel better. I'm here to get information. Which you didn't. Don't tell me how to do my job. Then don't do mine. You don't tell a patient he's dying when I haven't even made a diagnosis Detective yet. Detective Yokus, Carlos is dying? Holly, we don't know anything yet. Connor, the paramedics just brought in another patient. Same disease. Hold on. Back up, back up, back up. Hey. OK. Anyone handling this patient, masks and double gloves. Anyone who's had contact with this patient, see Dr. McCabe over there. And tend to before bringing her into the building. Now listen, I don't want anyone touching this patient without NIH supervision, OK? Good. Only ID she had on her was a U.S. passport. Charlotte Winston officer said she collapsed in a cab. Okay. All right. Impound it and bring the driver in for testing. Miles, don't touch anything without gloves, a gown, and protective eye gear. Same precautions with the other three patients. Masks, guys, masks. Everybody needs masks. Steven, I just finished with the lion. He's clean. No parasites or sign of disease. I know. He's not the source of the infection. Well, how can you be sure? Because I just brought in another patient bleeding out. We're looking at some form of hemorrhagic fever. My god. Natalie, just get back here as soon as you can. How's that Connor? She's gone. There was nothing we could do. What the hell are we dealing with here? This was in Charlotte Winston's blood. Test showed us Marburg. Marburg? What is that? A filovirus, a more virulent form of hemorrhagic fever. I've never seen anything like this. How's it progress? Onset occurs two to five days after exposure. The first signs are fever, chills, headaches, then welts, rashes appear. Pancreas becomes inflamed, liver fails, and then the hemorrhaging starts. Hemorrhaging from where? Everywhere. Even pores of the skin. Organs liquefy, patients go into shock, bleeds out, and dies. There's no known cure. 30% kill rate. What determines who survives? It's luck of the draw. Health, body chemistry, genes. There's no way to know. So Carlos, Rush, and McDonald will have this? And the killer you're looking for, Rush's partner. So we're not just searching for a murder suspect? No. We're all trying to stop a biological time bomb.
My theory, and right now it's only a theory, is that Michael Banks, the shooter, Rush and Charlotte, were somehow connected on a personal level. Well, what makes you think Charlotte was involved with two criminals? Because she didn't have any credit cards and her only ID was a passport, and she had a lot of cash. I see what you mean. So I'm thinking if we can figure out how these guys are all connected, I can find my killer, and you guys can stop your disease from spreading. Right now, we're searching Michael Banks' apartment. We're going through his financial records from McDonald's office, business ledgers, anything that we can follow with a paper trail. What about the dead woman's passport? Yeah, I asked INS to run a check on that forthwith. That's cop talk before I need it yesterday. Now he's showing off. All right, thanks. Keep me posted. What about McDonald? He just met Rush's partner once. Bad luck. One drop of saliva could get him sick. How does an African disease break out in New York City? For an infected animal, probably a primate. Well, I'll check university labs, circuses, pet stores. Good. Could also be an infected person arriving from Africa. I'll contact immigration. Have them contact everyone who arrived from Africa in the last 10 days. What about the level four labs? Some of them study the Marburg virus. Good idea. Someone working inside a lab could have gotten infected, carried it outside. All right, I'll check the tri-state area. That's just your basic investigative cop work. We're giving them all ribavirin, an antiviral that's had some success curing related hemorrhagics. I can't believe this is happening. So you catch Marburg how? Blood, body fluids, sexual contact. Sexual contact? When was the last time you two had intercourse, Holly? The other night, after we got back together. Am I? The antibodies won't show up until you start to show symptoms. All right, so uh, when are we going to know if Carlos is going to, I mean, if he starts bleeding? He could still pull through. The bleeding could stop. Look, he's not that far along, Holly. All right, I need to talk to him. Is that okay? Sure. I'll get you the number for the ICU. You okay, Holly? Yeah. Fine. How about you? I felt better. <laughs> You're gonna beat this, Carlos. I know it. Holly, what I have, you could... I know. They told me. So far, you don't have a headache or chills, right? Right. Just scared. I love you.